Every team has its captain. Every fleet has its flagship. And this is the captain of the Sierra team. Flagship of the range. And without question, the most exciting production car Ford have ever built. New Sierra Sapphire RS Cosmoth. 150 miles an hour. Nought to 60 in just 6.1 seconds. With ride and handling to match. Yet with refined styling and good looks, combining to produce a vehicle of exceptional elegance and taste. And a package and interior specification to be found traditionally in the limousine. A car capable of taking on the best in the world and winning, simply because of the care, the thinking, which formed its basic blueprint. At the heart of the car, a four-cylinder, two-litre engine, turbocharged for 200 PS with flexibility. A light alloy cylinder head, double overhead camshafts, and four valves per cylinder, 16 in all. For reliability, forged aluminium pistons, steel connecting rods and crankshaft, electronic fuel injection, and a Garrett Air Research T03 intercooled turbocharger on a high efficiency manifold. Sophisticated electronic engine management looks after ignition and fuel injection and turbo strategy. Power, a full 204 PS. And to handle all the power, a heavy-duty five-speed gearbox and a viscous-coupled limited-slip differential. Suspension, independent all round. At the rear, semi-trailing arms with anti-roll bar. At the front, McPherson struts, coil springs, and again, a thick anti-roll bar. The latest generation of ultra-low-profile high-speed radials for total adhesion, fitted to lightweight 15 by 7 alloy wheels. Brakes, all disc. Ventilated discs and four-pot calipers from the Formula One world at the front. And electronic anti-lock braking with sensors on each wheel. And variable rate power steering for light parking and a firm feel at speed. New RS Cosworth is a full five-seater with a spacious boot topped with a neat, efficient spoiler. The rest of the styling is elegant and deliberately understated. A beautiful four-door body. So there we have it, meticulously engineered for high performance and equipped for total luxury. New Sierra RS Cosworth, the refined high performance twin cam two litre, which bears one of the most prestigious names in motorsport. Cosworth Engineering has for many years been a name synonymous with winning. It scarcely needs introduction to anyone who has even heard of a Formula One Grand Prix. For instance, the famous Ford Cosworth DFV Formula One engine won no fewer than 155 World Championship Grand Prix. Turbocharged, it also won the Indianapolis 500 10 times in succession. Currently, a turbocharged Cosworth engine powers the Ford Benetton Formula One car. So, if our new Sierra comes from such a strong performance tradition, doesn't it make sense to invite one of the world's greatest and safest racing drivers to appraise it for us. This is such a man, Jackie Stewart, three times World Formula One champion and one of the greatest drivers of all time. I'd say it's a very, it's a very complete car. It covers for me the sort of ideal ingredients for the type of motor car that I want to have. It's got the space and the comfort uh, almost of a luxury car, while at the same time having the kind of performance that I would like to have uh, out of a sports car, or certainly a high performance car. It has all of those ingredients, and I think that's one of the main uh, elements that I see in the motor car. I think the car is very comfortable to drive. Uh, most high performance cars tend to be heavy, for example, in steering. Uh, this car has power steering. Now, I like power steering. I don't want to have to have muscles to park a car, and I want my wife to be able to park a car. The same applies to a clutch pedal in a high-performance car. You tend to have them really heavy on the left leg. Now, this car has just a normal clutch pedal feel, which is very flattering to the driver without making it hard work. Brakes, for me, also are important. Now, a lot has happened in recent years with brakes, and this car, of course, is ABS as standard. The anti-lock brake, for me, is a tremendous contribution to just more comfortable driving apart from anything else. 
The suspension allows the car to have amazing grip and adhesion. Of course, there are big, heavy anti-roll bars on the car to, to give it a more level ride. Uh, the suspension itself has been upgraded. It's stiffer, so therefore uh, the car really holds on to the road. It's got wide, uh, low-profile tyres on it, low-aspect ratio tyres, which again give us great adhesion. So the whole package for me, handling-wise, has turned out to be uh, really a big success. All in all, the car is very good on the road. It behaves well on the road, it's got good manners. It, it behaves well on the limit, for example, which is very important. Not just for the fact that occasionally someone will have a little bit of a burn-up. The fact is that it has to be comfortable to drive for long distances. And the balance of this car in that respect, I think, is excellent. Seats are very comfortable. Uh, the front seats are Recaro seats uh, made to hold the driver and passenger in. They're very supportive. And that's something, of course, that's come from motorsport. We all know about it in racing and in rallying. And those seats have proved very successful in that area. And yet, tremendously adjustable. A person of any size can easily fit into the seat and, and, and be comfortable. Uh, the interior appointments are good. I like, of course, things like the electric windows. Uh, I like the sunroof, because I want that in my motor car. Uh, it's what I call a grand touring car in the real sense. It used to be that a GT car used to be a sports car. That's no longer the case. I want to have luggage space. I want to be able to put my golf clubs in the back and have extra room for extra baggage. And of course, with the, the Sierra Cosworth, you can put down part of the back seat or whole of the back seat to give you this enormous amount of cubic luggage area. And, and that I like, while still not giving anything away from my performance car. The way that the engine picks up is impressive. It can be driven in the city uh, almost uh, as a docile limousine. And the torque allows you to accelerate smoothly away from traffic lights or pass other vehicles, even at the lowest speeds in a fairly high gear. So the engine flexibility is, I think, a, a very large attribute. I think the Sierra Cosworth is my kind of motor car and will be the kind of motor car a lot of folks will want to buy. And the reason for that is that it will be the best of both worlds. The new Sierra Sapphire RS Cosworth. Advanced engineering to create the rare achievement of power with comfort and performance with elegance. Truly the ultimate supercar.